Hi all, I have another thematic bullet style game, so 40 moves in one minute time control. Leela Chess against Stockfish 5 on one CPU, and they're forced to play mega aggressive openings. So in this game, Leela Chess plays e4, and we have uh, the Scotch game, but in particular now, we have the dreaded Halloween Gambit, so thought to be quite unsound, but can sometimes get very interesting games, especially in Blitz Chess. So Black Took, d4, knight, g6, e5, the knight goes back, bishop c4, and now this is very good according to live book for black, d5. So battling for the initiative with this counter pawn sack here. Black's already, of course, a piece up. So it shouldn't matter that much. Bishop takes d5, knight eight to e7. Bishop g5 pinning that knight, queen d7. Bishop drops back to e4, knight f5. And it looks as though black's absolutely refuting white's play totally. So why has Leela Chess been given this totally lost position? As an example here, if knight e2, black can even sacrifice potentially another pawn like this and just get an enormous initiative, you know, resting the initiative from white totally. So this position would just be a clear advantage to black, this kind of position. Look at all black's pieces, very active and aggressive. But there is one move, and one move only, I would say, to cross a bridge here to try and bid for a dynamic position. This is the one opportunity, otherwise black will be always better basically in this game with best with, with reasonably good play from both sides can you see what white plays in this position if i give you five seconds starting from now okay this is an extremely clever move which has more to it than meets the eye queen d3 the ambition to castle queen side here is revealed what about the, the center collapsing though with queen takes d4 you might ask especially to try and get the queens off let's have a look on queen takes d4 there isn't bishop takes f5 you might think this is good but no because of queen takes e5 check and both bishops are kind of loose here so for example bishop e4 queen takes g5 black has a big advantage no the actual point here on queen takes d4 is something different can you see what white can play here which gives white some compensation for this whole gambit if i give you five seconds okay queen b5 check is actually uh the idea queen b5 check so well, one of the better ideas. So on c6, bishop takes c6 check, and winning this rook. Now black only has a small advantage here. Uh, we could carry on as an example like this. It's not entirely terrible for black. Uh, so basically, um, this is, uh, you know, th this creates still an interesting position queen d3 on queen takes d4 there's still an interesting position but black here took with the knight and now this is even more interesting in many respects white castles queen side black supports that knight f4 and actually this is kind of annoying now for black this position rook b8 knight d5 bishop e7 and white snaps off that dark square bishop. Knight takes c3, the knight goes back. Queen g3, which exposes an attack on the queen. Queen c7. The bishop is pres preserved here, bishop h4. Black castles. Rook he1. And white actually does have some compensation in this position. The queen's targeting the king. Uh, there's a potential for f5, f6. Uh, this is a very nice precaution move, though, against the tactics. If f5 immediately, then there's knight d4, threatening knight e2 check. And also, look, f5 is loose. So there's no time for this because of knight e2 check 
for King, King and Queen. So a very nice precaution move against Knight D4 here. You know, this this King B1 you can just take on F5. So Rook H E1 very solid as the prelude to going for it on the King side. B5, F5, and Black countersacks a piece here because it's pretty dangerous. Basically, if Knight D8 Bishop takes e7 and then f6, so forking queen and threatening queen g7 mate, for example, like this. So black counter sacks the piece. So white's doing well now. White's actually doing well. And in fact, after this, black's busted basically because of the dark squares. Bishop f6, this is lethal on the dark squares. b4, c4, making sure black hasn't got counterplay against white's king. Knight d4. So the bishops attacked here. It just drops back to e4. Bishop b7, bishop c2, and here at this very fast time limit, knight takes c2 was played, and white could actually just totally win in this position with queen g5. That's the most incisive clinical move to get on with queen h6 here. It's difficult for black to do anything. Trying to get the knight back to e6 here, we can just take it off, and then queen h6. And there's only a few spike checks. If we follow a few spike checks, well, maybe even say it, but it's just spike checks. So mating on g7. So basically, it it is it is all over here after queen g5, but in accuracy at this time control, king takes queen c8, and now there's a bit of a nuisance with the queen coming to f5. Queen e3, queen f5 check, king c1, g5. So that's a way to defend against queen h6. But white still has a big grip on the dark squares, which is not going away. White controls that d file and can swing swing a rook in if needed. So rook f8, bishop f6. White is still not going anywhere. This attack is proceeding still. After this move, queen f4, making way on the third rank to swing a rook. Bishop c6, rook e3, bishop a4, b3. Rook e6, it's pretty desperate. Rook g3, pinning the queen. And here, yeah, it was resigned on behalf of the engine. So this shows that Stockfish 5 can be beaten even with the Halloween Gambit at this very fast time control. White played a very, very clever move, which I think, otherwise White's on the verge of collapse, queen d3. So if we do punt the Halloween Gambit in Blitz, maybe this is, this is an interesting point to bear in mind the idea of castling queenside generally is a nice attacking uh, plan to have against this very very good energetic play with that black played with the d5 uh, pawn sack so an interesting game I think to note if you're going to punt the Halloween gambit in your blitz games in particular <laughs> okay and I, I've used it of course in in many of my uh, blitz videos I think I've, I've got a playlist if you want to check it out maybe I'll put that in the description for the Halloween gambit I did have a lot of fun with it and sometimes you know winning quite nice games of it but it's nice that stockfish 5 can go down uh, e even 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 stockfish 5 a piece up initially white found a way to keep something going okay comments questions like shares appreciated thanks so much